and that was single parent um, who decided to leave the job that I had at the time to stay at home with my son. Um, so obviously I came from having a wage to go into benefits so I obviously seek to try and get help um, and at first I was just getting a food bank delivered to the house and then I found out about obviously the haven um, through a friend. I think tending to find with the other food banks it's more like a specific set of the same thing every week. People can actually pick what they enjoy to eat rather than getting given a parcel that, like, that you've got so many different products and that helps a great deal. I'm amazed by the range of stock we've been able to get in. Um, I think we all expected it to be a really small amount of stock, a variety of stock that was going to come in, but it's just crazy how much we've been able to access and how generous the community have been already and given us a variation. I think it's really important to have variation available for people because we don't all eat the same, but also it's, it's about making yourself happy. Food is one of the few joys we have left in lockdown, so to be so restricted is just miserable. So yeah, it's important that you can get a bit of enjoyment out of your food. Um, it's trying to address stigma. So it's slightly different to a food bank. We need food banks as well. But by encouraging people to come in and choose, they have choice, they can get what's right for them as a family. And I think that's really important. One of my favourite stories from the larder is we have a regular um, father and son who come into the, the larder and the little boy, he must be three or four, and he, he races into the larder with a smile on his face. He grabs his trolley and his teddy bear and he goes and he knows exactly the, the things that he wants to, to pick up. It's, it's very heartwarming. We, there is a young gentleman with a, a young son who initially was coming in every shift and he was shy to start with, but his wee boy has always been outgoing and he pushes the little trolley around and he gets a treat and he chats to us all. But uh, then his dad came out of his shell and started chatting away to us as well. And he was so pleased the week that he came in and told us that he was going back to work and so he wouldn't need to be in anymore, but he was so happy. But we have seen him again. Um, his car unfortunately broke down and he had to come back to us for a wee bit. Um, but he was so happy to come in. He came in with a big smile. There was no, oh no, I've had to come back. It was just, oh hi, it's nice to see you all again. And, and his little boy was so happy to come in. And it, yeah, it's lovely to see that, that people want to come back and see us. It was the pandemic. It took something as serious as that for people to start stepping up and realizing that there's people struggling. And now you see you've got even people knitting teddies and things, you know, and that's what it needs to be. They need to keep a community in a community. Otherwise, I, I don't know. I, in my opinion, if you lost this, it would be a massive loss to so many people. One of my favourite quotes is somebody sent me a message and said, a lot of people don't come due to pride, but you guys make it feel like you're visiting family. And I think it's because of that we're the family you want to visit. 